I was actually still in medical school when Brunzig did his first balloon angioplasty. Developed all this from scratch on his kitchen table. Then what did he do next? Well, he instantly went to a local corporation in Switzerland and said, here it is. Guys, can you manufacture that? We couldn't do anything without a partnership with industry. We both live at Sky. That is, that's our common point of intersection. We can foster that kind of back and forth dialogue and catalyze new innovative thinking. We innovate together, they do something, we try it, we go back and do it again. The simplest product, the simplest catheter, we are always looking to make work better. Nothing stays the same. Every five to seven to ten years uh, of transformation of some of the things that we thought were already so good they couldn't get any better. We went from balloon angioplasty, which was the most courageous thing I've ever done. I mean, scared the bejesus out of you. Over the next years, we saw new designs in wires and catheters and guide catheters and then pressure measurements. We've done things like angioscopes, laser catheters. We then got stents, which changed the whole ballgame. Stents became better, drug eluding stents, and now put in stents that disappear over time with bioabsorbable stents. Rotobladers and arthrectomy devices. Hypertension therapies, percutaneous assist devices, high-risk PCI. We're even going back to bread and butter, multi-vessel revascularizations. AST devices, VST devices, multiple different types of PDA devices. Chronic total occlusion management is going to go wild. And then there's the whole structural disease. Including TAVRs. Left atrial appendage closure. Mitral valve repair and replacement. Percutaneous coronary robotics to sit at a desk and help somebody who's having a difficult time wiring a vessel. At every stage, there's been a progression to the next level, to the next level, to the next level, and somebody always seeking that next level very aggressively. The world of interventional cardiology to address surgical problems is uh, forever a goal and will likely be part of the development and future of the interventional community.